Here we have a typical exam question from Algebra 1 or 2, where it's given a function here, we're asked to see if the function is odd, even, or neither. So let's do a quick analysis and see how we go about solving this type of problems. The analysis looks something like this. An even function is basically if you were to fold along y-axis, the left side of the curve and the right side of the curve would actually coincide with each with each other. Mathematically, if we're substituting minus x, which is on this side, it's going to equal the function at, at f of a positive side. Uh, odd function is a little more involved. Uh, graphically, or if you can picture this, it's actually re revolving the curve and rotate 180 degrees to see if it's going to line up on itself. Um, Mathematically, it's saying evaluating at the negative of f of x, the value is going to be minus of what the positive one is. Uh, neither one is the case when none of the one or two satisfies. So let's evaluate f of minus x seems to be that's the thing needs to be done. And depending on if the minus f of a minus x equal to function itself or minus of the function, we can see if it's even or odd. If neither one of the happens, then it's the third case. All right, let's write it up. Here's the solution over here. So we basically need to evaluate f of minus x. Now the way to evaluate anything with a function is this. Think of x as a space holder. Whatever is in this space holder needs to be cubed, divided by 10, and subtract whatever is in the space holder. Since, uh, since it, minus x is in the space holder over here, minus x gets cubed, divided by 10, subtracted, from the whole thing over here, minus x is the inside. Once again, the space holder is the best way to evaluate something like minus x or anything for that matter. Uh, from here onward, it's pretty straightforward. Minus x cubed is minus x cubed. Um, minus minus x becomes plus x. Pulling the minus sign out, so the first term becomes positive and the second term becomes negative. And we're doing that because this, whatever is in the bracket here, duplicated what the function is. So in essence, we proved that f of minus x is equal to a negative of a function. Therefore, by earlier analysis, this is an odd function. Well, I hope this helps. Hi, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. Please comment or share this video or hit the like button. Together we can make math easy again. Have a confident day.